All right, let's move on. Thank you. Uh, we're getting now to the presidential primaries of between Trump and DeStinky. Ron DeStinky is heating up. And we are here for it. Trump is already kicking off his reelection campaign and bringing the heat to DeSantis. Let's see what he has to say. The governor, if it wasn't for me, and that's okay. Uh, and uh, he, number one, he wouldn't have gotten the nomination. And number two, he wouldn't have beaten uh, the de his Democrat opponent. Mm -hmm. So well, then when I hear he might run, you know, I consider that very disloyal, but it's not about loyalty. But to me, it is. It's always about loyalty. But for a lot of people, it's not about loyalty. Are you surprised to see him? He's a mob. I love how, how mobster Trump is. It's awesome. Yeah, he's badass. Um, Ron DeStinky has nothing on him. Okay, I'll just say it. No, after no, seeing no. him at the funeral, this. after seeing him at the Diamond funeral, like I was like, my man's he's kinda untouchable. Back. He needs to. Yeah, he, he needs to come back and do more of that shit. Uh, straight up. As far as like Ron DeStinky, <laughs> when he talks about DeSantis and how like he almost lost to Andrew Gillum, it's true. Andrew Gillum was like the up and comer in the Democratic Party, uh, propped up by Obama himself, young uh, black man, who then uh, uh, turned out to be a fan of doing meth with uh, gay prostitutes at the Fountain Blue. They all are, man. Which is, all the which, best by the are. way, I think is awesome. Okay? Yeah. I don't have an issue with that. I'm I think thinking that I gotta him, try it, because it I, sounds really fun by I how many people are doing I think that makes it. him the perfect candidate for Florida. <laughs> right. He's just a man of the people. And also, objectively, still more ethical than whatever the fuck uh, uh, Voldemort did before Ron DeSantis. Like human trafficking immigrants? Well, Ron DeSantis, oh, human trafficking Rick, immigrants, but I was talking about Rick yeah, Scott, yeah, Rick. who, uh, you know, did Medicare fraud. <laughs> so <laughs> We love that. But anyway, DeSantis is actually taking the bait now and responding to Trump. So things are heating up, my friends. This is what I'm living for. Um, I roll out of bed. I have people attacking me from all angles. It's been happening for many, many years. And if you look at the good thing about it, though, is like if you take a crisis situation like COVID, you know, the good thing about it is when you're an elected executive, you have to make all kinds of decisions. You've got to steer that ship. And the good thing is, is that the people are able to render a judgment on that, whether they reelect you or not. And I'm happy to say, you know, in my case, not only did we win reelection, we won with the highest percentage of the vote that any Republican governor candidate has. Dude, in the history. he just fucking torched him with that. Is Ron DeSantis, uh, has he spoken out about the election being uh, fixed? Uh, well, I mean, he did the election, uh, he did the the cops that like went into people's uh, houses and <laughs> no, like about the arrested them and stuff. Um, he has talked about it a little because bit it, when I, he was like riding for Trump. I just find it funny because he's Not like, "Oh yeah, I won by the biggest margin ever." Well, I was like, hmm, "Here's the vote the works there." Here's the thing about election fraud, and this is a point that I made many times over, and I think I need to make it again. It's not just Trump that has talked about election fraud. He's not the first, and he will certainly not be the last. Election, or not election fraud, voter fraud is a vehicle, is a propaganda piece that the Republican Party has used historically to undermine the integrity of elections so they can continue justifying voter suppression, like closing polls, uh, closing places uh, where there are, uh, you know, Closing polling stations in poorer neighborhoods, black and brown communities specifically, and also implementing like uh, signature verification processes or voter ID laws that also, again, disproportionately stop poorer people from going out to vote, making sure that voting is happening on a work day in the middle of the fucking day. Uh, you know, these are these are all many different ways in which uh, those in positions of power, whether it be Democrat or Republican, have tried to actively stop the working poor from going out and participating in uh, their civic duty. So they will continue to lie about it. It's not just about Trump. It's not the big lie that Trump promoted. I think the liberals uh, kind of fail uh, when they, when they uh, make this a Trump thing. Actually, early polls have uh, tightening between Trump and DeSantis. But one thing I did want to help Trump out with is that his nicknames for Ron have been incredibly weak. So far. So far. Ron the Sanctimonious was just a disaster. Too, too much. Too much. Too mouthy. 
Well, we, we put together a lot of suggestions. Actually, we have a lot of suggestions for Trump. I like Ron DeStinky. That's the one you use. I'll rattle off a few. Ron D's nuts. No. <laughs> Ron dysfunctional. Good. Deep state DeSantis. I like that. That's a good one. That's powerful. Alliteration right? is always good. Deep state DeSantis. What about? He's working with the deep state. You got to say it in the Trump voice. Yeah. That one actually could actually, I feel like that one could hit him hard. Deep state yeah. DeSantis. Uh, wrong depression. So, uh, wrong DeSantis <laughs> is one that I've also come up with as well. I see this on the list. Uh, Wait, what? You just said his name. Wrong. Wrong. Oh, wrong. Wrong DeSantis. Wrong. He's always wrong. Another one is wrong. Rhonda. So I, I, um, wrong. another thing that Trump, another avenue that Trump can hit Ron DeSantis on, and this goes to the whole, like, the boots saga. Remember when he was wearing the boots and then Billy they, like, boots, yeah. they, and then they memed it into, like, oh. wearing, like, these sexy ass thigh highs, you know? Silly Dude, boots, this, Ron. This silly boots, have, Ron. I, looking at this picture yeah. I haven't seen in a minute, this is a fashion holocaust. Yeah, you could, you could, like, hit the angle of, like, Rhonda. He wants to be a woman. He's gay. You know, that sort of thing. Uh, that would definitely appeal to his audience. Like, he's so feminine. Rhonda, I call him. Little Rhonda. How about, um, uh, Ron, let's see. Wrong DeSantis when you said Rhonda Deceiver. <laughs> Ron DeSqu- Ron DeSquintus? Because he squints? That's yeah. a little over. Ron DeSquintus? I don't know. That doesn't hit. Like, I mean, he does yeah, squint a lot. Have you ever seen his eyes, folks? He doesn't yeah. have eyes. He doesn't have eyes. He's a reptile. Look what him. color are his eyes? Why are his eyes so closed all the time? Ron the shithead. Ron disgusting. Ron the Satan. Ron the Satanist. Yeah. Uh. Ron the Rousey. Decline. Ron. <laughs> Ron the right? Rousey is like a woman. <laughs> Ron Again. declining poll numbers. No. Ron demonic. Long. Ron Disgusting. Ooh, there's a good one in here that I hadn't thought about. Ron the Rhino. Yeah, yeah that's a good right? I like that. He's that a rhino, powerful. folks. Yeah. <laughs> Ron the <de> Single Ladies. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, Ron the Size Queen. Wow. Ron the Portum. I think that's a that probably that's make a him plus. sound good. Yeah, yeah, he's not trying to yeah. he's not trying to glaze him. Ron Descended Stomach because he's fat. <laughs> Some of these are so bad. Ron Deteriorate. <laughs> <laughs> no. Ron Theft Auto de Sandrius? <laughs> de wow. San Andreas, dude. Yeah, yeah. Ron de No Riz. Ron de No Riz. No. Actually, of all yeah, these no ones, Riz, folks. if I'm being serious for a moment here. Please, I was never not serious. This is a very serious issue. <laughs> Wait. If Trump, if Trump wants to defeat Ron in the Republican primaries. Deep State Ron is the best one. Deep State Ron that is good. That one will destroy him. I think Little Rhonda, he's so little, he's like a woman. <laughs> that one is good. Little Rhonda. I don't know. Like, I know that his voters don't care, but that one alienates some people. Deep State DeSantis is like, speaks yeah, straight but, like, to the you conspiratorial. Have to, but, but, I know, but like, you have Lizard to brain. like... You have to find a reason why he's like pro deep state. You know what I mean? And uh, there isn't much because he does like he follows the Trump method really closely. So like mm. he's also portrayed himself as like anti deep state. Yeah, he just lied. Trump will just make shit up. Yeah. Um. I mean, this is a careful one. This this is a delicate matter. Uh. And <laughs> well, if we've gone over these, you know, sure as hell, Trump's gone all over, all over these. Days. No, I think he's like he thinks he's so good, like he doesn't need to, but he does. So? Like you're not. You this is homework. important. This is going to yeah. be really important. For Trump, him. like with the NFT shit, like he is not as popping as he once was. Oh, Ron so, like, is Snorris. Ah. Oh. I think Ron the Stinky is good. Snooze, you can also like do some like ethnic uh, hatred there. You can be like, he's Italian, folks. He's stinky. He's not showering. You know how Italians are, or something like that. You know what I mean? <laughs> I, I lived in New York. I know how Italians are. Believe me, folks. Believe me, folks. Like that kind of thing, you know? Because a lot of his, a, a lot of his no, audience, no. like a, a, a lot of his fans, like they. One, even if he shits on them directly, they love that. They're like, yeah, we are. We are stinky. You're right. You know? <laughs> and also, uh, if, you're, if you're in the South and you're, like, not Italian, you know what I mean? If you're, like, uh, Anglo-Saxon, uh, then you, you could maybe get into that, like, old 
uh, anti anti Catholic sentiment. Mm. Ron you know? dementia, old school. Although Trump's way older, so that's not going to really work. Yeah. Well, there it is, Trump. If you are watching, and I I know probably at least one of your dumbass sons is. Uh, maybe they could pass a couple of those suggestions on to you for well, our enjoyment. Junior's a f longtime fan of this show. He, yeah, he wished yeah. As well on our first. That's episode. true. He, nope. He's been a he's been a first day. He's a I real leftover. Sure is. You have that. He's down? not a bandwagon fan. He's been Shout on board. Out to the Good luck with all of that leftovers. Leftovers. <laughs> Talk to you soon. I wish you well.